43,000 students are enrolled at the University of Washington. These students fill out thousands of course evaluations every quarter. However, we wondered if students actually valued the evaluations they filled out. Until now, course evaluations have not been easily accessible. The current course evaluation catalog has many problems that detract from the user's experience. Browsing the catalog is a pain, and the current search functionality is broken. If we wanted to find an informatics course, we hit I for informatics, but then we'd have to scroll through a long list of courses with no intuitive ordering system. As students at the University of Washington, we wanted a better way of finding the course evaluations. We wanted a way for students to compare classes and to help them decide what to take. The result of our vision is UW evals. UW evals allow students to search for classes and professors and get structured, relevant results in return. Searching for math will give us all the math classes at the UW in the past two years. The results can be sorted by attributes that students value, like an overall rating and enrollment, in addition to the name of the course. The ability to customize the results display like this helps students find the content they want fast. Clicking on a result brings up a detailed view that compares the course to other courses in the same department as well as uh, all the courses at the UW. From this page, students can compare the same course taught in different quarters or by different professors. In addition, students can be directed to the registration tools for the course. Another cool feature of UW evals is the ability to compare any number of courses or professors at the same time. If we want to compare informatics to computer science, we first search for informatics and select a couple of items on this page. We de then do the same for computer science and notice the dialog at the bottom of the screen. Clicking compare will open up a new view with all four classes on the same page. The attractive interface, myriad of features of UW evals offers a better overall experience when researching classes. Now for a look behind the scenes of how UW evals was created. Well, we looked into uh, we looked into using Lucene, but our data is highly structured, and it was real obvious when we started looking at it how structured it was. And we weren't able to use something like a, a link ranking situation. Most of the ranking that we do actually comes from statistics that we get from the data itself. So a database for us uh, really just made much more sense. Well, uh, we weren't able to use Lucene to actually crawl any of the files because so UW has that data password protected. Um, you have yeah. to be in your UW Net ID. So what I did is I logged on and I used the Firefox extension oh, uh, FlashGot and I manually downloaded every single course evaluation and all the table of contents, the entire catalog, onto our virtual server and then we were able to manipulate the data from that. So once Peter was able to download all the HTML files and put them in a directory, I was able to write a Java program that took every HTML file and parsed it individually. And what I'd do is I'd look for tags inside the source code that matched up to the format of the Java or the HTML page. And then I was able to take the information that we wanted and then store them into objects, store them into strings, uh, integers, doubles, depending on what we wanted. Our data tables are set up in a way where it's efficient for a find method, but an insert method takes quite a bit of time. And we did this intentionally because we're going to be using the find method so many times, but we only need to insert it once a quarter. So once Jace had everything um, set up, we had all the information we needed. Now at this point, we need to get it into the MySQL database. Um, there are lots of extensions, lots of Java extensions to talk to various databases, and so we were able to get the specific MySQL extension, and we used a build system called Gradle to wire that together with the application that, or the code that Jace wrote, 
and uh, Gradle handles a lot of um, kind of a lot of the messy details of getting a Java program compiled and uh, and what we ended up with was a self-contained jar file that pulls in the uh, database extension code and using that we were able to both parse all those files and then upload the information into the MySQL database. Um, as for the core design uh, principles that we utilize in the making of the front end of the site, we tried to do um, kind of the HTML, PHP, CSS, JavaScript, uh, uh, Trinity, so to say, um, kind of trying to keep the different design elements separate, um, focusing on the PHP and HTML and the CSS for the kind of the groundwork of the site, and then additional functionality um, utilizing JavaScript. Um, so another major focus was uh, particularly with the variety of different uh, mobile devices right now, different tablets, phones, things like that. Wanted to make sure that the site would um, you know, display properly. Um, and that involved a lot of work, uh, getting it to work on smaller screens, things like that, different browsers. We tried to do as much of the code ourselves as we could in-house. Um, we did end up using uh, the prototype JavaScript library to make the JavaScript work uh, more intuitive. But um, beyond that, the 5,000 plus lines of code that we have on our site um, is all written by us. Well, we want to improve, make sure the user had the best experience possible. So we did a couple of things like um, creating a survey over Catalyst uh, and gathering feedback. Uh, we had about 15 or so people respond to that, and we were able to get a good idea of what people liked about the site and what they didn't, where we needed to improve. Um, in addition, we um, uh, kept a log of all the queries that people would enter on our site. And this allowed us to see what people were most interested in and also catch any uh, outlying cases that could uh, potentially uh, uh, break our system. All right, so here's a quick overview of our Google Analytics data. We have had our site live uh, attached to our analytics account since November 12th, and since then we've gotten almost 1,600 unique visitors with spikes whenever we've uh, advertised our site either on Facebook, right here on the 14th, when it was registration week and we assumed a lot of people were using our site. And then it went down after the registration ended and then spiked back up when we posted flyers around campus and then posted more viral marketing. And then since then it started to crawl back up. Well, following the SEO lab from class, we've done several techniques to make it so people can actually find our service through Google. We have, we uploaded our site map to not only our website, but Google Webmaster Tools as well. So every single course evaluation on our site can be searched through Google. And we've looked through analytics, and it shows that multiple people are finding our site through typing in professor names, which is really good. And we've also implemented a robots TXT to prevent the crawler from looking through any files we don't want them to. And then we also have a, a lot of meta tags on all of our PHP files to add more descriptive keywords and as well as results descriptions. So as reflected in the Google Analytics that we saw earlier, our site's been drawing a lot of traffic from students and other um, relevant parties. So we see that there's a lot of potential for uh, generating revenue through targeted advertisements. Since we know who's using our site, we can uh, market towards them. A superior search engine for course evaluations. Visit UW Evals today.